everyone, welcome to Evie's Toy House and take a look. We have a brand new Miraculous Ladybug toy. So this one is called Eiffel Tower Action Set and it is an exclusive ladybug. So let's take a look. We have the Eiffel Tower, we have Stormy Weather and we have Reflectica and of course we have a brand new Miraculous Ladybug doll. So let me show you the back. So here is the back and as you can see here, you can put Miraculous Ladybug up on top of the Eiffel Tower and swing her around. And there are a total of 10 pieces. Alright, let's get it out of the box and take a closer look. Alright, we got everything out of the box. Let's take a look. So the first thing I want to check out is Ladybug, of course. So this one is a um, little bit different from the other action figures that we have. She is not very well articulated. She is uh, movable only at the shoulders here. And really just kind of goes sideways, up and down. And her legs too, so really just, um, actually, not really. She can't sit. I'm kind of afraid I'm going to break it. <laughs> So this is kind of as far as she would go um, naturally with just a gentle tug. I don't know if she would actually sit. And she barely goes sideways too, so she can do this. Head, it moves. So I think she can do this. We have two figures, so these are just flat two-dimensional figures. We have Stormy Weather and we have Reflectica and they have little stands so I think you just stick them in here they kind of just wobble and <laughs> these look like the little yo-yo um, from Ladybugs let's do this and the back is blank you can see you have a hawk moth symbol one thing that I noticed here is that she has this big huge hawk moth symbol on her tummy so I'm not sure why but um, hmm, there it is <laughs> okay we have let's see a plant a potted plant we also have a lamp post this lamp post is kind of short as you can see here is ladybug and only comes up to kind of her armpits <laughs> We also have a bench, but um, oh no, her head fell off. Oh gosh. So, as I said before, she can't really sit, and I don't really want to break her before we <laughs> try out the rest of the um, playset. And we also have a little compact. So, this is a square compact, it has a little handle for her to hold on to. And I am not sure what this is. It's square, it's a rectangular, and it has a handle on it. And we have a traffic cone. So I think these are the items that are identified in her Lucky Charm. And I actually don't remember which episode uses the pine cone, a compact, and a water bottle, maybe? <laughs> So if you guys know, uh, let me know down below in the comment section because I am really, really curious. So here's the Eiffel Tower, comes with stands so that it doesn't fall over. And um, the back is kind of just open like that, so it's really meant for uh, you to look at it from the front. And there's this little stand thing that um, you're supposed to put on the Eiffel Tower. Here. And we also have this um, this pole. So this pole has um, a little opening here, a little hinge. So we snap it on top. Okay. So it kind of goes around. Okay, so let's try this out. This is, um, we have a little stand here, so what Ladybug can do is stand up here, <laughs> right there on the middle, so she can be displayed there. She can't actually do anything um, from here. But when you want to play with this set, you clip her on, <laughs> like 
this. You hold on to this little ball in the back. And I think what you're supposed to do is, um, oh gosh. Spin her around and knock over uh, stormy weather. <laughs> and I for tell it's really light, so I just move. <laughs> okay, so I might need to practice <laughs> this a little bit. But um, you're supposed to be able to just kind of swing her around. You can pull her back or uh, move her forward and essentially use her to um, knock over the, the bad guy. <laughs> this is actually a very, very interesting concept. <laughs> I think they get points for being super creative. But one thing um, about this is that the Eiffel Tower is super, super light, so you might want to hold on to it on the bottom down here. And then, um, place your bad guys, and let's go and knock them over. <laughs> okay, Ladybug, good job. <laughs> so, what's really cool about these guys is that they're on a rounded um, bottom, so they do wobble a little bit, so, may, so they may not always get knocked over on the first try. But they are pretty easy to knock over. <laughs> it's actually kind of fun. Um, if you don't mind <laughs> just swinging Ladybug around, but that's kind of cool, huh? <laughs> and just to compare, um, I'm going to show you the action figure Ladybug. This is the one that comes um, as a single pack and she has all her joints um, that are articulated and you can swap her out because um, this can be used for I think anybody really so you can put her there and she's a little bit more articulated so it might be easier so we can have her kick <laughs> starting with her <laughs> so if you do have this action figure it actually might be more fun than this other one so this other one is um, just not as well articulated and I'm not really sure if I like her winking it's a little bit weird but they're the same height and pretty much same mold and I really don't like this hawk moth um, kind of symbol on her tummy there so and of course with this other ladybug we can have her sitting on the bench kind of <laughs> and we can put cat noir on it yeah, he's sneaking up on Ladybug. Hello. <laughs> Alright everyone, so let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this playset. I think um, this could be a lot of fun, especially if you have other figures to play with. And um, if you guys like this video, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.